and we are back, of course, with our losers' sevens, and we've got Streaks versus Owl. Streaks, the final combatant from the new era, Arcadian, and of course, they have got Owl babies to contest with. This is going to be a hot set. Definitely, definitely. Yes. We know Streaks plays, you know, the tried and true Fox. But Owl Baby's got a lot more, a, a couple more characters. They've got the Banjo, the Bayo, the Sora, which I saw recently against SBF. Uh, and actually playing Joker as well. So uh, I'm not too sure what we'll see to start with. But whatever happens, we'll know this will be a, a super hot set. Yeah. There's really a multitude nice. of potential characters. I think uh, starting off, I think off the back of that SBF set, I think I'd be feeling confident with the Sora. I would agree. At, I least, would agree. at least to try. And then you've obviously you've got the Bayo in the back if you need it. Um, I, I will have played with a multitude of characters, including things like Shulk in the past. Mm. Um, the Banjo is obviously there as the as the tried and true. I probably wouldn't take it into this, um, especially especially against, Fox. especially against Fox, especially when you look at um, the the experience that the Streaks has against players like Solid Gamer, who are also mains of the character. Um, you you've got an interesting choice at the start, and I think Sora might be your ideal start point, if anything. Just yeah. to figure it out, just to see if you like it. Yeah. I think the Streaks is, uh, streaks is protective, obviously. We're going to see the Fox. Coming off of a huge win against Maze Beans, upsetting one of the top seeds of the whole tournament yes. uh, with a very, very confident 3-0 win. It was a strong 3-0 as well. Um, made Maze Beans, unfortunately, switch to Bowser Jr. in that as well. So Streaks is playing super hot. I, I, I would agree with your assessment in that I don't think we'll see the Banjo initially. I think we might start with the Sora. But you know, I feel like when it comes to comfort characters, Owl has always found comfort in using Banjo. He's always yep. been like the character that you can quickly go to. That being said, we might even see the Bayo. Yeah? Yeah, I, I think that if you're looking for something that needs to whiff punish Fox a little more, if you need something that ha needs the, the consistent safe aerial pressure and just the way to zoom away and create space, th that those are all important factors that you would say Bayo fits the bill well. Yeah. Um, I think what's going to be important for Al to do is to, from the sets played previous against Streets, because they are in adjacent regions. Sure. Um, and I think they have played a couple of times over the course of this this year, um, or the past year. Uh, we'd just be, yeah, picking what you're comfortable with and going strong. Despite Streaks making it through the Arcadian, he is by no means an Arcadian level player. Yeah, definitely. He is not. Uh, some miracle kid that has come out of nowhere um, to, to, to run with the big dogs. He has been fully established for a number of One years. Of the best to do it. And the best. make no mistake, his his presence here was was by design more than by any any calling of fate. Yeah. Uh, One new era, three. No sets dropped. No sets dropped. Yeah, um, sets dropped. And we're starting Sora versus Fox. So yeah. um, I like the choice of Sora again. Probably coming off of it, he's come off a very, very strong win against SBF with the Sora quite recently, Owl, to get into the top eight at all. So, you know, play who you're feeling, and Sora is the choice right now. I think Fox being a fast follower as well is going to help the combo game from Sora a yeah, lot. Yeah, definitely. You're going to be getting a lot more noobs, a lot more extension combos. But, especially on FD as well, you haven't got those platforms to worry about getting in the way of certain combos. So, um, yeah, Sora definitely the, the correct choice. For Fox in this kind of matchup, obviously he's going to get comboed so hard because he's that fast baller. You've really got to punish and pressure Sora to do those up out of shield and whip from there. Like, but it's so difficult to do because of the hitbox. It's so big. Yeah, one thing as well which isn't mentioned is that Sora actually being able to stall off stage so long. Yeah. And can use that to advantage against Fox. We know that Fox recovery isn't the best. Super exploitable. So, um, and yeah, Sora's like one of the best to do it. Yeah, well, exactly. Right? Streets can be fighting for his life every single time he's off stage against Sora. Especially someone as good as Owl playing Sora. It'll be an interesting dynamic because obviously Sora's strength in the matchup is he has yeah. Such an incredible um, combo and kill confirm game, as, as we've just seen. Um, but it also comes with the downside that he has a much weaker double jump, which Whoa, means... Hold on. Where uh, are we going? Oh, my <laughs> God. Gracious. One side of the stage to the other. And as, as we say, that that extensive combo game and that, that combo capability comes with the downside that you've got a lot more weaker of a double jump. Yeah. And you are, in yourself, pretty floaty and probably... Uh, Quite the easy target for Fox to go after. Sure. What you have to your advantage, though, is this kind of like Oh situation. my god. Hits him out for four in golf. That's Whoa. the stock as well. Yeah, the Thundaga. Thundaga. 
No, I moved to mess with killing super early as well. The angle that actually gets sent at is awful. perfect for Edgeguard. Oh Fox. my god! Seeing, this combo keeps extending, getting 40%. Oh. Street's going for the Street's read there. Not just the option, missing the two frame. So, I mean, you can see why Owl was more than happy to go to FD at the whole stage. That was, exactly. like, the, the horizontal confirmed so far have been top-notch stuff, like yeah. 40 minimum. Clinical. Um, and the important, I think the importance of Thundaga off stage as well to secure those kills, because Fox can be very linear in his recovery if, it, if not uh, mixed up or put into a bad situation by the opponent. The combination of all these things means that Owl, for as much as uh, Sora has his weaknesses, also has the ideal wow. situations to be taking those stocks and those games. That was super oh, strong. Yeah, was Two stocks from Owl to start this off. That was really, really clean. And it's weird, right? Because we one of the things we pointed out, like immediately, it's like Fox's off stage game is not the greatest, and Owl can take advantage of that. Completely yeah. accurate, complete fair. We didn't actually see that play out that often. Did we didn't, in fact, yeah, we didn't even see it at all. Owl just kind of out neutraled and won. It yeah. was really, really strong. Owl opting to try uh, using Ethel to try getting the uh, try getting the two frames, but not getting any of them. But as you said, neutral is all he needed to meet her. Go off stage with advantage. Well, stage versatility over. We're going back to PS2. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, you know what? I'm glad we got a bit of a change of scenery, <laughs> but I feel, I feel at home at PS2. You know? Yeah, you feel a bit of comfort. <laughs> exactly. Man. You know, we'll smell you at your mum's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, for streets, this is a really good choice because now you've got the platforms to at least interrupt and give you another option to land. Of course, you're going to give yourself more combo options with your up airs, but I don't think that's the biggest advantage of this, the fact that you've got a platform to actually just be a bit more safe on now. I am interested to see how Streets is going to adjust to how Owl's been playing neutral and how he can try and get around the ledge situations. Sora, obviously, every time he like jumps or uh, drops from the ledge, is able to do stuff like that, where he's able to throw out those spinning hitboxes that yeah. are all big disjoints because you know the key's kind of big. Yeah. Um, and that's a risk that Streets is going to have to interact with and risk a reversal on. So I'm very interested to see how he's going to deal with that. Tries to read the roll in with an up smash, oh. but I'll wise to it again. Both these players playing strong, but I feel like it's just getting much more linear for how Steph is going to get his kill. It's going to be Dang with an air or a dare into up smash. And it's so scary to approach Sora aerially. Yeah. That up air, up tilt is really, really good. You've just got so many good options with Nair as well. Like, you've got to be so careful when going for those kill confirms. Oh. Running up with the up smash there, and we're two stocks apiece. I think the important thing is that whenever whenever Streaks is put in a bad spot, it looks severely dangerous, like losing your stock. When Owl's put in a bad spot, I, I don't feel as as worried yeah. Yeah. Um, in a lot of you're ways. You're right, exactly. I think uh, Sora's way out plays a little bit to that, because it's, it's kind of hard to get super big extensions as seeing their falling out of the up air um, because of how floaty and how um, the really box size is a bit different. I'm not going to get the old smash, but whoa, oh, double parry. Double parry. Oh. How do you get him off the ledge? Streaks, how do you get him? No up smash out of shield. The, and oh. not able to get it. Good tech and uh, DI from Al to get out of that kill confirm. The streaks has completely changed the momentum, by the way, in the, in the time we've been talking. The nares, the ledge trapping, all been very fast paced. All been uh, putting Al under constant pressure now. Here come the, uh, the up airs, the back airs, and he's going to get that, uh, that catch. Sora, as we said, can jump from ledge and get those hitboxes out. But that Fox back air, as much as it's memed on, it will kill you. Yeah, oh yeah. It, it ain't that weak. <laughs> yeah. We've seen uh, Light actually showing how strong that Fox back air is. And you see all the different Foxes around the world copying that sort of uh, ledge trap play where you just smash it over and over again. And eventually, they'll either pop your shield or it'll take the stock. Yes, absolutely. It's on you to find the, the, the best way out. <laughs> exactly. There's no freebies. <laughs> exactly. Okay, nice. there we go. Tries to, nice the, uh, yeah. Tries to read the landing with an up air. Sora's up air is really, really strong. We haven't seen it in play in this game so far. But it's a great option. And another back air to take the stock. 92%, but that being said, it only takes a couple of lady combos. And uh, we're, we're getting even here. Yeah, for sure. Owl hasn't been able to hit as big a, a like a, a air, forward air um, combo that, that, that he has on uh, FD. Excellently done. Yeah, really Streaks good. orchestrating the perfect response there. 
Yeah, I, I think um, Streaks has adapted to that matchup uh, a lot more than he was game one. Yeah. I don't think there are too many uh, reps of Sora in the UK or even in, even in Europe. So uh, probably maybe not knowing the matchup, not knowing what to do, what to how to deal certain situations. So I think uh, a big one for Steph in that is uh, sorry for Streaks in that situation. When Owl was in the corner, yeah. being able to pressure Owl to do an option, and you saw it sometimes where it's like, are you going to roll? I'll try an up smash. Does it work? Does it not? A lot of the times, I think Streaks have scouted that Owl just throws out a lot of the the magic, right? Yeah. Throws out a lot of the Zarga fire, Arga. and Seth's able to jump over it and back air. Got two kills for it. Exactly. Um, and I think that's going to be something that we'll see quite a lot in this game, and especially Owl now. The onus is on him to make sure that he can get out of the corner safely, because if not, then Steph's know. got a lot of access to kills. We are going back to FDs. Steph has chosen not to ban this, yeah. which is an interesting choice, all things considered. He doesn't mind FD, to be fair. He's, he's a fan of it. We've seen, we've seen him take T as Kazzy into this. So. Yeah, no, we, we, we have. Um, but obviously, th there's, no, uh, there's no real concern for... Uh, for what happened in game one. No. But uh, as it's going, I think there should have been a little bit more concern for yeah. how it was going because even just oh. the the pace that Owl's been like been able to play at is like heavily modified by FD for some reason. Yeah, it's showing as well that they don't just know ground combos, they also know aerial combos. Yeah. Keeping Steph in the air for a long time, keeping them at disadvantage. Even though saying that, it is dead even, even though yeah. all the momentum for some reason feels like is in, uh, is in Owl's favor. Steph's warmed up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, Tries barely to missing smash. Yeah, up smash. I think that's something to scout. How do you react after getting that down to? Oh, nice. so take it. Clinical conversion from Streaks. Clinical. Crowd firmly on Street side. He's got a lot of fans in the crowd who want to see him progress. I'll look into squish that as quickly as possible, though. Down to up head, not going to get it. Perfect DI from Steph. And a nice stall as well to get himself out of the situation and mix up that landing. A lot of things pulling this percent. Landing there, up air, forward air, up air, down to up air. But Steph doesn't care. But it doesn't matter if oh, you can't Dash find attack it. catches that down air, gets the kill eventually. 80% on the board. Again, it doesn't take a lot for Al to get back into this at all. And then it's just about how streets could get out of the combos. Because we see these. Oh my oh. God. Or it's about not giving Al the opportunity to start the combos Ooh. in the first place. Yeah, exactly. Tom Hulk grab. Can't get any up air from it. Good falling up air from uh, Owl instead. And now we're playing some neutral. This is going to be an important ledge trap situation. Are you going to be able to respond to the back end? Nice parry into the dash attack to. Uh, to, to get yourself out of there. Yeah. Perfect response. Ah, oh, Steph. Streaks oh. keeps getting hit by these combo sides, keep Ooh, getting chip damage, gosh, taking this advantage. Yeah. Just wants to reset the situation, managing to do it. But now Owl in disadvantage. What's the option going to be? That down there is such a commitment. It's it worked is. out for Owl in that situation, but you've got to scout that. That should be it. No, oh, Streaks is too slow on the punish. Showing the inexperience, maybe, in the matchup, knowing that you can punish that super easily. Oh, my That's word. That Beautiful, the spacing, the timing, everything about it was so clean. Street said, allow me to reversal your reversal. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. His jab. These drag downs look so weird because of how yeah, floaty the character floaty. is. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think I will start to get a little bit panicky at ledge now. Oh, wow. Oh, the landing there. Oh. That was not good. No Ooh. down B counter. I feel like down B counter against Firefox should be quite a free edge guide. I think there's, there's loads of options. Down B counter can even side B as they're going up to, yeah. to reset the situation. Oh, but there we go. Hanging nice there, one up there, 43%. As we've said many times, not much in it. Only a couple interactions needed to, to set it back to even. Streets I now. get out of the vortex. Firmly with the stage control and combo control. Maybe a little bit ambitious with the yeah, side. What beat. was he cooking? Oh, we don't know. He will never find There's out. Oh, oh my word. word! He just does it. He just does it. He's, He's that guy. His reaction. He's that insane. guy. Insane. He's that guy. He watched. He watched. Ready for the tech out. Saw the tech in and went. No, I'll, I'll get back over there yeah. easy enough. Ready for, and the, ready for the, it. the risk reward in that situation is so like in favor of streaks. Like you whiff your up smash and you go the other way. Cool. You've got enough speed to get rack and reset neutral. And sometimes, even if it's not a reaction, you kind of just throw it out and see if they can. Yeah, it's, it's Fox's, it's great. It's Fox's great bread and butter advantage situation. It is 
quite possibly the best situation that you want to be in. Yeah, as we, as we just heard, switching to the ah, banjo. And I, the bird and the bear. Exactly. But I'm on FD as well, so I really think Streets can, can abuse this pick a lot. Banjo being really heavy, being really big, super good combo weight. And as we all know, Streets Advanced State is ridiculously good, being known as one of the best Advanced States in the UK. So we'll see if he can uh, abuse the banjo pick. I'm not, I, I can't imagine this matchup being too great, but to be fair, as, as we said at the start of the set, comfort is a big thing for Owl. And clearly, the Sora has been downloaded a little bit. Sure. Therefore, move to the next comfort pick. Exactly, and I feel like, you know, when I think about Owl's character, it is Banjo. This yeah. guy is the innovator for Banjo. He's one of the best in the world. So this is absolutely no bad pick. Regardless of how the matchup spread looks, this guy has done it against worse. This yeah, guy has done it against sure. much, much worse. For sure. The important, the important like change is that you're going to be able to at least control Fox's ground game a little bit using the grenade and yeah. the uh, the little spit up eggs. But it ain't going to matter too much when you're in the air and Streaks is coming after you with that up air conversion. Oh my oh, God! Interrupts the young B with the forward there. That was sick. Banjo's weight is going to be such an issue for for Owl in this one. Like. He's going to get jumped hard and... Wow! Finally, That's first yeah. one doing of, yeah. uh, of the game coming out and taking the stop. How does Al get down? He's able to do it. Oh, the grenade. Using the grenade to interrupt uh, Streaks' juggle attempts. So the first stock we saw Al playing a lot more anti-approach, trying to stuff out a lot of Steph's approaches, but we're seeing him be a lot more aggressive, actually approaching a lot more than he, uh, than he previously was. And working yeah. out for him. Using, again, using the, the eggs to try and condition Streaks' ground game a little bit and then potentially following up to catch out a jump with Banjo's Nair, which is which is quite lar large and can be contested. Oh, my, my word, what an angle. What confirm. That angle was getting this was disgusting. disgusting. Nobody's was. making it back from that <laughs> I was angle. Like, like, that you know the Kazuya kick? Yeah. 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 Kazuya kick, that I guess, was that. I guess Fox has a Kazuya yeah. kick with his down smash. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Hey, one thing I've kind of noticed so far in the matchup, like, Fox's gun blows up grenade. Yeah. That's like huge. Yeah. Because how like Owl wants to obviously limit the amount of stage that Steph has by throwing out grenade, limit the amount of space he has to move around. But you can just shoot it. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. gone. Stuffing That's out the bad. window. The, well. the the grenade is is a little bit different and, and as you can see now, ban um, Owl has immediately switched to using Banjo's uh uh, little eggs that Kazooie spits out. That's what I should. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, those ones, the little yeah. blue ones. The little eggs. Um, those will control the space, and they, they don't interact with laser in the same way. Ooh, lost game sound for a second there. Oh, we lost something. Don't know what happened there. Yeah, yeah, players took a yeah. quick pause, but they've gone straight back into it. I was needs to look for the kill because he is on his tournament game on his. Tournament stop. Tournament live, yeah, yeah, this is it. Oh, yeah, oh the yeah. pressure. Oh, yeah, the pressure getting to him. A frustrating end. I think you can see it on his face a little bit. Yeah. I think I, it, it felt a bit strange. I don't know what happened in the towards the end of that game. There was like a moment where they all kind of paused and something happened to the sound. I don't know. Maybe that kind of, I don't know, maybe just kind of vexed out a lot a little bit. I don't know. But in, in any case, it is Steph that is going to be, sorry, it's Streaks that is <laughs> progressing I've, into losers' quarters. 